So um, I went ahead and mounted the uh, tiny little outrunner uh, brushless motor in there on the Miller chassis. Can't really focus on it too well, but as you can see, it's really small. <laughs> There it is. Uh, don't mind the electronics. They're just kind of stuffed in there. But uh, running a 2S battery, 350 milliamp hour. I have the heavy weights in the front. Brass everywhere. So it's really heavy up in front. As you can see here. Just a heck of a lot of weights in there. And then of course it's got the weights in the back. Um, Anyways, just want to show you guys uh, what it does. Um, this is not the slowest outrunner motor that they have on this size. This is just the slowest that I had here. It's about 1850 um, RPMs or KV. So. You can see. I don't know if I'll be able to go up because of that tire. Let me see. Oh yeah, I guess it does. And it's not as loud as um, the other outrunner that I had, the bigger one. So it does pretty good. It's pretty slow, but like I said, you know, there's others that are a lot slower than this. It was mainly just. Uh, to see if I could get it in there with the motor plate but I think as it is that's plenty as well now there is something that I did want to show you guys um, even considering that it has all of that weight in the front let me see if I can put the camera so I can show you. So even though it has all of that weight in the front, it still has a lot of low end torque. So as I already showed you, it has all of that lead and brass in the front. And uh, look what it can do. So I'm gonna hold the back tires. And I'm just gonna go up real slow. I can't do it this way. I gotta hold it down here so it doesn't get caught on my hand. Maybe if I hold it this way. Okay, so I'm trying to hold the back tires. Alright, it's getting away from me. <laughs> hold on. Alright, so I'm trying to hold them. See how it's lifting the front? I don't know if I want to hold just the one side because I might break something. Okay, there it goes. So, the tiny little motor, let's see if we can see it spinning. This tiny little motor is strong enough to just pick up the front end of the vehicle even with all that extra weight. So, I'm thinking. For anybody that just wants to do normal crawling, even with a weighted vehicle like this one, this motor may be the way to go. I mean, um, I know that I'm the guy that always wants to put a bigger, stronger motor, but um, at this size, with this outrunner, I think that is plenty of power for what we do with them. And like I said, this is an 1800 kV motor. If uh, if we get a slower one, it'll have even more uh, low end control. And um, also the other thing, what I'm using is one of those 10 amp ESCs from Hobby King. Those are not really even um, adjustable or anything, and they're not programmable. So if you get a better ESC, you can obviously make this uh, function a lot better with that little motor. So I like it. Um, 
Let's see if hopefully tomorrow I can get it out on the rocks. Uh, I think it has enough power. So that tiny little motor, as light as it is and as small as it is, may be the way to go from here on out. out. I'm, it might be the motor that I keep on it for now. And uh, because it leaves a lot of room for everything else. Um, there's plenty of room on the sides. I mean, I just threw the electronics in there just to throw them in there. But honestly, I could have fit everything in the front end. Or I could have fit everything on the sides next to the transmission. And have the whole front end empty and just do whatever I want in there. Uh, probably just put like a mock-up, you know, like a motor in there. You know, maybe a 3D printed one. But I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of liking this little motor. It seems strong enough for what we do. But anyways, um, I'll be posting that one. And uh, if anybody wants to jump on it, it's not as simple as, uh, as the other motors to put in. Because you do have to move the shaft. Because the shaft is usually pointing this way on this motor. You do have to take the clip out and uh, set screw. And push it on to the other side and then you know put the pinion on the other side and the, and the little clip and the set screw again so for those of you guys that have never worked with an outrunner motor and taking it apart and all that stuff I don't know that this is gonna be for you but um, but we'll see we'll see anyways I think I like it so let me know what you think okay thanks for watching